Well, hello there, dear viewer. It's your boy, Isaac Anzu. Are you here to seek some knowledge? Well, I hope so. Because that's exactly what we're doing today. We're seeking some knowledge. I still have my pirate hat on from, from last stream. Um, go buy pirate hat. <laughs> we're here to seek some knowledge once again about Netron. Netron. And uh, as you can see, there is also a pole in the, at the top of the um, at the at the top of the chat. Uh, go ahead and click on that if you'd like to help me uh, figure out what my Halloween costume will be. So I have no idea what to to do. So I've given some options. Please enjoy them. Until then, we have mm, a brand new Natron file. Oh, look at it right here. So good, so clean, so fresh, so clean, clean. And here we have our tutorial man. Um, let's adjust the volumes a little bit. Just pop the music down a notch. Basically, we're using all the skills that we've learned thus far in our Natron uh, tutorial yeah. series. So if you skip some of those, or if you're unclear about some of them, go, ahead and go back and watch those, and then come back to this video. We're not necessarily going to be learning anything new. We're just going to be going over everything we've already learned and doing it rather quickly to create one complete project, start to finish. Good. To render it out. Um, so it should be a very good uh, practice. Let's review. Go over everything that we've learned. So first, let's look at our project settings. Mm -hmm. uh, by default, this is everything's default. I just barely opened up Natron. So we have 1920 by 1080. We're going to leave that. We have 250 frames total, starting at 1, ending at 250, and playing at 24 frames per second. So doing some basic math, we can figure if it's 24 frames every second, after 10 seconds, if we take 24 times 10, it'll be 240 frames. So that's pr pretty close to 250. So this total project will be about a 10 second animation if we leave things exactly the same here. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. so let's just it, leave it. Read in our first image. We're going to read in the background image. It's good if your background image is the same size uh, as your project. Because ours is. We found that out last time. Read in a background image that's the same size as the project. Also, hello, sweetly sanguine. Welcome to the library. We met yesterday on uh, Soulstones. Uh, ben, Mr. Ben Soulstones uh, stream. <laughs> Brr, welcome. Uh, enjoy your stay. We're going to, um, let's see, what are we going to do today? I'm going to go to those awesome PNGs that we got. I'm going to go for our 1080 transparent PNG. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice transparent background. Continue. This is a 1920 by 1080 image. And our project's 1920 by 1080, so mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. perfect. I brought it in here. I didn't have my viewer selected when I imported it, so we're going to have to tie it in ourselves. So we'll left click and drag to the viewer. Now we can see the background. Uh, but actually, we're doing a merge node anyway, so let's add in another read because we want to read in our logo. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, read in a logo. Our logo here, we can see each of them separately. If we want, we can just see them. We can have this one and two. We can press one and two on the keyboard and toggle so that we can see them like that. One and two. Uh, 
when when no node is selected, if we just hit one and two, we can see whatever's connected to the viewer. Uh, but we want to merge. Um, I need to connect this. Whoa! Look at them keyboard short shortcuts. Classic. Merge them together. So Let's merge them together. Merge node, please. For whatever reason, I, I think I had it selected, but it it thinks it just automatically connected a read node to the merge node, and we didn't want that because we don't want the A connected here. We want this to be B because this is our background. If we go to the merge node and look at the settings, and we hover over the operation, yeah, it tells us what's going on to create that. This is the over operation. Oh my goodness. Uh, over it says it's doing A plus B. So the A, whatever's on A, is going to be laid over top of whatever's on B. So we want whatever B is to be the background then. That's why B is always background when you're doing over. B is background, remember over. that. And then the A is always going to be the on top thing. We'll drag that to the viewer. So now we see our background is like kind of like the bottom layer, the under layer. And then this uh, other image is the over, is the over top. And this merge and they're friends. Together. They're best friends, best friends. So now, if we want to animate this, if we, if we want to try and move this, we click up here, maybe nothing's happening. Because these are just two images that we're reading in and merging together. Mm -hmm. To be able to change this TJ logo and make it move or animate on the screen. <laughs> B equals background. Sorry, I already forgot. Colonel, you gotta get, gotta get that brain working. How many tutorial, how many, how many, uh, how many tutorials have you completed in the past week? Hmm? How many Wikipedia pages have you perused? How many informational TikToks have you watched? Hmm? 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 We have to keep our minds sharp. We have to keep our brains active. We have to keep learning about the world. Brain broken this week? Ah, understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> uh, actually, I've been getting into informational uh, YouTube shorts. There's this guy that's like uh, just walking around the Everglades, like picking up poisonous and terrible animals and like calling the alligators swamp puppies and like poking them. Uh, this dude is flipping insane. Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm subscribed now just to make sure that he remains alive. At some point, work broke it. Been watching a lot of videos about the solar system, though. Ooh, nice. See, every time I watch an informational video, my mind is always like, how can I use this in Dungeons and Dragons? But if I was running like a sci fi game, I would be watching all sorts of videos about the solar system, like for real. Uh, what's, a, what's, an, <laughs> what's an interesting What's an interesting fact you've learned about the, the solar system? Transform. Right in line there for us, but maybe if you didn't have the right node selected, to put it somewhere else, so you can just connect it yourself. The source shows to. Okay, can I just say, this guy is like the best tutorializer I've ever seen. He was like, "Okay, get ready, kids. We're gonna plow through this. It's gonna be a a serious journey. We're gonna we're gonna make." something and we're going to do a full project in, in 18 minutes and and it's going to be real fast so so buckle in we're not going to be reviewing anything and then he literally reviews everything <laughs> i love him uh you learned how saturn's rings are dying hmm solar radiation is electrifying the ice in the rings and it's falling into saturn's atmosphere gosh i bet that looks pretty from the surface of saturn even though Saturn is like a gas giant and doesn't have a surface, so to speak. The, the source image, and then we'll, we'll type it back out to the merge node. But yeah, everything we've learned about Saturn is that it has rings. That this circle appears with these different dots that we can move around. 
Uh -huh. Click and move this, and I want this to be right pretty close to the center, so we'll move that to the center there. Let's move it to the center. Gonna, like skew it out to the side, but control Z and get it back to how it was. Skew. So that I do want to scale it, but I want to scale it uh, uniformly. So I'll come over here and I see scale. It's at one. It's scaled to one hundred percent, which is its original size. So I could just double click here and. Have <laughs> Gas giants do kind of have a surface now that we can reach it. I guess eventually it's got to get dense enough, right? It's got to get dense enough to pass the solid barrier solidification point. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, uh, uh, yeah, no, no, too big. Okay. Uh, they generally have a solid core. So really, it'd kind of be like an ocean. The gas is just immense pressure. Boom. That's cool. So, so if you were designing a sci-fi ecosystem, you could kind of use um, underwater fantasy ecosystems as your basis and have like the sky whales of Jupiter. Uh, which is an excellent prog metal band name. Center there. These other ones just kind of like skew it out to the side. Yeah, I don't but really want to skew it out to the side. I, wanna, I do want to scale it, but I want to scale it uniformly. Uh, skew. So I'll come over here and I see scale. It's at one hundred. It's scaled to one hundred percent, which is its original size. So I could just double click here and type in uh, zero point five. Now it's scaled to fifty percent. Really big. So use the slider here to slide and scale it to a certain size, but I want it to be about fifty percent. Yours will be different because your logo image that you brought in is probably not the same size as mine. Mine was eight hundred pixels by eight hundred pixels. Right yeah, now. let's put it at point seven five. All right, so that's the size I want it to be, uh, and I'm just gonna change my viewer here a little bit so I can see bigger there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I'm gonna move my merge. I'm gonna There's that handle. The sky wheels of Jupiter and the space dolphins of Saturn have been in a state of cold war for centuries. That's why the sky wheels are destroying the rings of Saturn. It's the dolphin's communication module. What I really want, I want it to start off screen over here. And then I want it to kind of like slide in and then slide out. And so I'm going to start my animation right here. So we see over here translate okay. X and Y. That's saying where it's at. So if it was clear down the bottom left corner, it'd be. Oh wait, I guess it's based off of where it's off of. Let's see what I'm trying to find out where zero zero is. So this is a learning experience for both of us. I guess zero zero is right there. Oh, I know why because it's scaled. Okay, so zero zero is the bottom left hand corner of the of our project. But the reason it's not is because this isn't scaled. If this was scaled to 100%, then the bottom corner of my logo would be touching the bottom corner of my project. Ah. Because we scaled it to 50%, the scaling, uh, I guess. <laughs> exactly, but the dolphins are dicks, so they deserve it. I've heard that. I've heard dolphins are very amoral. Who's making these dolphins? So uh, evil. We're learning together, mm -hmm. okay? All right. So anyway, um, but this translate tells you the x and y coordinates based off of the bottom left hand corner. Mm -hmm. So if we go any further to the left, uh, we're going to turn negative here on the x axis, which we want to do. We want to clear over here and start about right there. We're going to right click and go to set keyframe all dimensions. This is a very <laughs> Oh, Isaac, guess who managed to get the ability to learn metal now? I mean, make metal. Also, hi. <laughs> Hello, Ray Pierre. Did you learn how to make metal? Was it you? Is it you? Uh, Hello. <laughs> uh, one of the few creatures on Earth that kill for pleasure. Killing for sports. 
524 and 519.5 but that's yeah that's like the bottom the bottom not the center Mwah. what's up got the vscs for a preamp impulse control and a new guitar the distortion makes it so heavy -clanging. nice i figured the way to do it was to kind of like imitate the actual distortion and amp chain uh that makes a lot of sense also uh if you're in the chat right now make sure you vote in the poll it's uh pinned to the channel if you have that thing that automatically clears uh pinned messages then um that's sad <laughs> but uh yeah, vote in the poll. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what my Halloween costume is going to be. Very important part that people forget when animating. They, they try and move their object around. If you don't set the keyframe, you're just going to move your object and it's never going to be animated. Why are they such hard choices? Well, Crundle, I believe in the absolute freedom of democracy. So not only can you vote for any option uh you can vote for options more than once want to become minion for megamind oh wait that's a good one our timeline so our total project is 250 so by the by the middle of our 10 second video five seconds in i want it to be right in the center so i'm going to come over here to about 110 frames maybe i left rig the election Bruh, uh, you're limited to a thousand votes. Okay, so go nuts, I guess. I click there. Now we're on frame 110, mm -hmm. and our object's still hiding over here during that time, but we want it to be moved into the middle. And we see this turned a lighter blue color. So now we can actually move this. So I can change just the X, I can put it to zero. See where it would be oh. there, but I actually want it yeah, to that makes sense. 129 because I don't want it to go up and down while it's coming in. I just want it to go straight across. So I'm only going to change the X. So let's change it to um, positive 10. Or let's, I mean, positive. Yeah, there we go. Let's do positive 100. Let's do positive 1000. Uh, let's do. So we got to find like a good a good place for this thing to be. 800. I mean, I could drag mm -hmm. it, but then I, I see. Guess I, I'll just keep this 129. So I'll drag it right where I want it to be. In the middle, and then I'll change this back to 129. Perfect. So now that should slide all the way across. We're at frame 110. If I hit the back, uh, this back triangle to go to the beginning of our project and hit play, we should see it animating and sliding in. And it's right. a little bit choppy. It might be choppy. Don't worry about that because this is just showing a, a, an example, a preview of it. And the more things we get, the more nodes we add and get adding in here. Uh huh. Uh huh. The more laggy and slow our animation is going to look. But when we render it out, it'll be full speed uh, according to our project settings. So full speed at 24 frames per second. And it'll be nice and smooth. Why is 25? So now I can go back here and ah, why is negative 25? We want we want just 25. There we go. Where I set my keyframe. And maybe I can. I legit thought Rick Moranis was awesome powers. My dude. <laughs> um, I mean, it's, I guess they're older movies now, so. Could make heavy metal, but your boy is trying to learn and make his own Doom Eternal metal. Ooh, you know, but the Doom Eternal metal is like, it's not guitars. I mean, it is guitars, but the sound doesn't start as guitars it comes from like i don't know like heavily distorted wave shapes i want it to stay here in fact what i what i what i want it to do i'm going to double click on the transform node so i go back to have my settings uh, in front of me mm -hmm. i'm gonna maybe make it grow once it gets here i want it to grow a little bit so to do that at frame 110 actually i'll, I'll wait five frames at frame 115 I'm going to scale it. I'm going to 
uh, I want them to stay this size, grow up a little bit, and then go back down, and then go go out of the screen. So to do that, I'm going to have it be the scale that it's at here. Uh -huh. I'm going to right click on scale and go set keyframe all dimensions. So now at frame 115, we have a keyframe. Chainsaws and lawnmowers. Hell yeah. For translate. I mean that's. Uh, I mean. That's the that's the way to do it. it then oh wait. Sort of dark blue as well, and there'd be a keyframe for for translate. But now we uh, no. For scale. Redo. So what we want to do, actually, if I wanted to wait five seconds, I could keep it there and then go to 20 and set another set of keyframe here at 20. All right. So now we're gonna scale it up. To about Sorry, I need to set this as a keyframe. Naturally. Uh-huh. And then here at frame 115, we need it to be a one. All right. Slide in. Boink. Yep. That's 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 what I want. That's what I want. Okay, stop your stop your shit. Actually animating pretty slow, but I guess that's okay. And it kind of jumps up at you. And you know what? This is just like that, that was really slow. That we, let's have it slide. Let's have it go off a lot faster. I like that jump though. And then at frame 150, how about I'm gonna have it just like shoot off the screen in like 20 frames. So we'll start here. Uh huh. Uh, and we'll have it. Uh, let's set a keyframe here. And then we'll go to frame 170, and by frame 170, we want it to be off. So we are out here. We want it to stay at 129. Uh, yeah. So now we'll go back to the start and see how this looks. Okay, we have our logo animated in. It's going to jump up a little bit, and it's going to fly off the screen. So going in was just way too slow, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to change it just because I think you get the point. And you probably know how to change it. So if you don't like how slow that is, then maybe make your project uh, a little bit shorter and then do something different. Anyway, but ours is done by about two, frame 200. So I'm going to come down here and change ours so that it's done by, by frame 200 instead of 250. So I just kind of shortened our project. <laughs> and you know what? I said I was going to put text on, but I think I'm going to leave this video like this. I don't want to drag it out too much longer. So I'm just going to leave everything how it is there. Um, again, if you're confused on, on some of this or if you're if you're moving things around, uh, one of the common problems, I guess, with animating is that people will, people will do this. They'll, uh, they'll bring in, they'll read in, like if I read in another logo here. Um, well, actually, I can't do it here. What, what, what I was going to say was if you don't set the keyframe, like let's say this. Let's say I want the... Uh, I want it to skew now. So I, I click on at frame 140 and I'm like, hey, let's skew this image like this. And then I and then I say, let's go to 150 and let's skew it back this way. So it'll, it'll wave back and forth. And then we go and play. Well, now look, it's just skewed that way. The whole time it's just skewed the whole project. You have to set the keyframes. Uh, interesting. problem people when they're first starting run into is they don't set the keyframe and so if it's not blue dark blue or light blue if it's just gray like this you can it change you want, the it's, not gonna, it's just gonna stay there if it's gray it's gonna stay there the entire project it's gonna stay wherever you set it if it's light blue it means it's changing and it's being affected by different keyframes of the project so now let's render this out though Okay, let's render this out. Back to normal. I think it was zero. Yeah. Put this back to zero how it was. So to render this, we need a right node. So instead of the viewer, we're going to use How are you lately, node. Isaac? So to do that, we click up here on these image nodes and go to Oh, I've been doing all right. And it brings up this dialogue uh, that says we're kind of took yesterday off on your computer. Just to um so it's very important that we don't write out a, a sequence unless you want a sequence. 
what a sequence will do is write out images for every frame. Moving logo to MP4. A JPEG picture for every image. Of yeah. It'll create like <coughs> pictures and save I kind of took yesterday off because I was feeling under the weather. And yeah, I really, I really uh, needed that. We just chilled and did only what was necessary and threw out the rest. And then, uh, yeah, today I'm feeling a lot better. I'm fascinated with uh, creating these memes. I want to make these memes. Now, our right node has settings too over here. Or uh -huh. you can look at. We needed to tie it in. So right now it's going to the viewer. What we could do is just tie this in to the merge node too. Mm -hmm. And now everything our viewer is seeing. Yeah, everything our viewer is seeing is also going out to our right node. Glad you're feeling well now. Hope you don't get into the weather again. Uh, Thank you. It is that time of year and I've noticed that in frames per second on our project so 24 frames per second matches the frames per second that we're writing out mm -hmm. uh i've noticed that this time of year is pretty bad for my allergies in germany like in the states it was always the spring but i guess there's like ragweed or something like that in the fall here and so it's kind of sucks because fall is my favorite season I'm having colds and sneezing a lot. So Oof. We're yeah. Rendering the entire project, so it's going to go from frame one to two hundred and fifty. Project frame. Manually just render out like the first one hundred frames, or frame fifty to frame one twenty-five. Do you like the Isaac Anzu logo? Uh, yeah. It's on all the YouTube videos. I don't know uh, where else to use it. <laughs> it brings up okay. Progress bar. Render. Oh my gosh. Frames 1 to 200. It's going to take 15 more seconds till it's complete. And it tells us where it's rendering it to. So that's great. Yo. So let's just Yo. We'll go watch the video. I'm just going to change the change this really quick. Let's go watch the video. Okay, 100% finished. And here's our video here on the desktop. So I'm going to wait. Nathan now. Wrong folder. We'll open Ugh. the video. Ugh. Moving logo. Okay. Cool. That would actually be pretty awesome. Except that it goes way too slow, right? Um. Boing. Boing. Zoop. Yeah, it is a little slow. But it's cool. It's a moving logo. I'm perfectly fine, but my nose is stuffy and I hate it. Bruh. <laughs> so true. <laughs> it goes really, really slow, but then it, I, I love the, the jump and the slide out fast. I was just too slow animating it in. Um, mm. And then what you can do is throw this into the video editor, add some sound to it, like a little bouncy sound or something. Mm. And you've got a cool little intro video. So. I kind of went over that quick, and I hope I explained a lot of that stuff well enough. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you watching this video. Um, really appreciate you watching, watching these video tutorials. It's a lot of fun to make them, and I hope that you find value in them. Yes, yeah, fun so making them. And, uh, like and subscribe. Talk wow. Try and interact with you and uh, answer any questions that you might have. Uh, go ahead and leave suggestions for videos you'd like me to make. And uh, yeah, keep watching the tutorials. We'll catch you in the next video. Okay. Thank you, Natron. You've taught me how to make an animated logo. Will you teach me how to make uh, jumping in the cat? Please. I don't think so. I actually don't think so. Um, first off, let's save this project. Actually, let's actually save this project. Um, 
moving logo dot ntp save yeah let's actually save this project <laughs> race enemy stuff while I'm streaming. I'll look at it afterwards. Uh, okay. I think um, let's shove this back here. I think we're going to do most of this in shotcut because that is where we can get the audio in. Right? But what we should do what we should do stop I don't want it let's go to the the mm, uh, completely normal site And let's get a video copy and an audio copy, right? Uh, so we need boom, boom. No, boom, 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 boom. Uh, what do we need for this? We need my uh, avatar, obviously. So. I'm going to kind of wing this, and if we can use Neutron, we'll use Neutron. But so far, we just got uh, your boy Isaac 360p version. <laughs> 360p Isaac, uh, very powerful. Right now, I'm trying to code an assignment. It's been hard. I've been making progress. Ooh, nice. Yeah, if you've been making no progress, that sucks. But listen. Okay. Any progress is good progress. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to load up this particular animation. And the also also the uh, let's just let's just uh, make make the viewer window smaller, shall we? Uh, and also this particular animation's um, audio track. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through, and mark every cut, every single cut. A, like C, there's a cut, boom, boom, so we cut, A, I think we cut on the new frame. Oh. And there's let's just uh let's just turn off Isaac. Let's turn myself off for now. So the value of this is that we can, <laughs> you see, we don't have to do any timing, really. We can um, use the video's timing for the timing. 
I've got a gun. Uh, cheek cheek. I've got a gun. Cheek cheek. Cheek cheek. No girls. Girls gotta die. Not an opinion that is often expressed on this channel. Wake up with no. <laughs> <laughs> Media offline. Okay. Wake up with no heal. I can, I can't. Baby jeans. Uh, you and your penis, impun penis. Bah. And we can also use the um, audio waveform. See, so it's very clear that bah, happens right there. Just. Just, just jump in the cack. Now, how would I do this if I didn't have uh, a video to do it? Well, I'd have to find all the cuts myself. But since we're copying a meme, easy. Jump in the cack. Okay, let's put some ma 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 Oh, that was a cut. So this is the extended version, so I don't have all the lyrics for it. We will listen to it and get those lyrics. Girl, you be shining so bright. Ah, uh, this really takes a while, huh? There's the frame. So bright. Uh huh. And then he does the uh, peaches thing. That's all night. Lucky for you, that's what I. Mm, that's what I. Mm. And those are cuts. Or are they? Let's play and find out. They're not cuts. These are some great. Great faces here. I don't know why it's toothless in particular. Okay, let's zoom out and see what we've got. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
15, 18, 21, 24 scenes to recreate. Can we do that in just over two hours? Probably. So first off, let's get just a, let's just get a gray background. Gray background. What looks the most like Blender's uh, background? Why is this, why is this licensable? Yes, just a gray background with a slight gradient and that's enough. Oh, DMA and tax accounting. It's free. Open image and new tab. Oh, what's this? Some sort of um wait a minute. We want a PNG. We want the P. Okay. Very good. So if we just put our little uh, dark gray background right here, why does that look so weird? It's being rendered at 360p. It'll probably look fine in the final. And then that's just like uh, everything, right? We just want a dark gray background over everything. But also, we do want it to be slightly larger. Um, size, position, and rotate. Uh, be larger. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> How do we start this sucker? We might just we might just put size we we might try to do as much as we can with the compositing in shot cut. Also, I want to save this uh, to the desktop. Of course, up in the cat. Perfect. So let's line up the thing, make some cuts. So now let's go here. Add the size position and rotate. Let's start him off screen. Set a keyframe. And then uh, say by here. Let's move the uh, which is it? the X position like way, way closer to center. Um, like maybe negative 500. 
negative 800. <clears throat> so let's watch this. Right? Okay. And let's listen. Seems to work. All right. Next up. Same thing. Oh, also, we should like clip this too. Just make a ton of these. Just. Wait, actually, I'm about to crash this fucking program. Go back, go back, go back, go back. What we can do, we know that we're going to be like size position and rotating this all the time. So let's just put the filter on it now and then stretch it the fuck out. Right? Right? Oh, look at that. We're learning. <laughs> I don't need a tutorial for shotcut uh, because I've watched a ton of tutorials on it. But I am still learning the software. Very important. No girls. Girls gotta die. Okay. Let's uh, zoom. And that will obviously be uh, here. We'll set that keyframe. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then at the beginning, we want the position to be like 2000, right? How's that look? With sound. Okay, and then obviously the last one comes up from the bottom, right? However, I think what we want to do for this last one is change the image, right? So let's go into this picture of me. Open with uh, GIMP forever. Thank you. Open with GIMP. Yeah, yes. Welcome to the GIMP. Oh my gosh, another update. Have I mentioned that I love free and open source software? Uh, okay, then we need um, cool glasses. Found them. Cool, very cool. Make the cool glasses the appropriate size. Scale. Uh, how's that look? Hey, hey, hey! So good. All right. Um, uh, exports. Uh, to desktop probably. Right. Why don't we just make, you know what? Create folder. Jump in the CAC. Yes. Isaac full body glasses. And then we export. Uh, discard changes. Thank you. Uh, and now I'm going to do a little, should have done this first. I'm going to do a just tiny bit of 
organization on the desktop. Uh, that's probably going to break things. Yeah, break. Okay. <coughs> Let's go into the jump in the cat. Isaac full body glasses. Yep, perfect. Line it up. And now we've got Isaac full body glasses. Let's zoom this bad boy in pretty heavily. Drop him down. We can't even, I can't even drop him down far enough using the mouse. Uh, so it's just, oh wait, is that like, Negative 27 is what we want. No, that can't be right. I mean, I guess negative 30, negative 70, negative 120, negative 150. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll set a keyframe here. Uh, at the beginning, uh, we want to set a keyframe that's like, uh, like, three hundred, three thousand, no, uh, five hundred, no, five hundred. No. No. 700. <laughs> no. 1,000. Perfect. Okay. And at the end, we want to set a keyframe that has even more... Zoom... but keeps the face in frame a little bit. Perfect. See, so yeah, this would be way easier to do in, in Natron and then just export the video in. Perfect. So now we need another video track or props. No, wait, that's another audio track. Another video track for props. Why don't we just start uh, splitting this? Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Isaac, why aren't you using Natron? You just learned Natron. Well, I'm trying to find the workflow because I I understand that Natron is powerful. But I'm trying to find the things that I'm having trouble doing in Shotcut. There are certain scenes that I think will need to be uh, Neutroned. But I guess the fewer MP4s we can uh, export into Shotcut, the better, right? What do you got so far? A, A, A. Uh, then let's just watch the video as well. I got a gun, chick chick, you no know, girls, girls gotta die. Bugga dugga dugga dugga.
because it would be nice if we can start out with you know simple stuff and then get more and more uh ridiculous as it goes on So, that means we need a gun. Do I have a gun prop? Have I ever used a gun? I, I, I do. I do have a gun prop. It's, uh, it's from Vampire Survivors. Uh, let's let's do a little bit of resizing on this and rotating. Before we split it. Uh, so this can be a keyframe here-ish, right? And then at the beginning, we'll have it over here. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, for this, uh, we'll just go uh, see, I don't like this. Wait, no, redo all that shit. Step one, keyframe here. Step two, uh, keyframe here. Oh, is there a rotate? Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, no keyframe on there. We want a rotation. Keyframe here. Uh, keyframe here. And then what's this? This is a 302.8. So we wanted to go back to there. Uh, 302.8. And let's let's give a listen to how this sounds. I, got a gun. No, no. I mean, that looks good. Oh, it didn't delete every keyframe. You son of a gun. <laughs> Here and then here we want the keyframe to be off screen. And we might want to Ugh. see this is the this is the thing you could do really easily in Neutron with a merge node. I'm starting to see. I'm starting to feel 
Okay, so let's just take all this, take all this. We'll keep the prop window up here, but let's open up Neutron again. So the other reason why we want to do this first is we can go back into Shotcut and we can say like, um, okay, so this point in the timeline is 3.01 seconds. And it measures in 24 frames a second. And then this is seven seconds and six frames. So math, right? That's four seconds and five frames. Four times 24 is 96 plus five is 101. And then we can get our cuts from here too. Okay, that's a pretty sick setup. So we have a, uh, we need a 101 frame project. Uh huh. 101. And we can get our keyframes from here too. So, uh, first let's read in our classic, um, transparent background so that everything is nice and centered. Yep. Transparent background. Perfect. Okay. And then we need a merge node. Uh, but we want this to be the background. So let's take that off for now. We need to read in. Uh, this as A and this as B. Right, but we have to do another merge node here. Um, let's see, it's alt move. There we go. Uh, we have to do another merge node here. Right here. Now it automatically sets it to one, doesn't it? All right, and then let's bring in. OK, so you can just drag stuff on here and it becomes a. A read. That's awesome. OK. So let's start with some basic nodes, such as the transform node, uh, which. Yeah, um, let's scale you down to 0.5. I guess, I guess, you know, we could scale you up. And then we need a transform node here. Yeah, uh, let's uh, rotate slightly and in Biggin. Whoa, Lazy Lavender. Hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, welcome. We assume me hoi. Welcome. We're doing a little uh, meme stream, a little art scene uh, with Julio Lio 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 Lio. Uh, if you're if you're uh, enjoying chat, please feel free to uh, click on the poll in the pinned channel and vote really as many times as you want. Uh, 
for what my Halloween costume should be. I think I think I know what's winning it right now. It's the meme one. This meme journey looks great so far. Well, thank you. Okay. So we definitely need a Is this like an animation? It is. So here's the question. Once we have this merge node, can we transform it? Oh, 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 look at that shit. Oh my God. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to pull some frame data here. So our first, our first frame is exactly 24 frames long. So, um, let's see. Uh, we want to start with this off screen, right? And then, uh, let's set the translate as a key, set the rotate as a key. Oh wait, this is the, okay, yeah. Let's set the translate as a key. Let's set the rotate as a key. And then at frame 20, we'll say, we want it to be flying in here, right? So let's just watch that. Yep, yep, yep. Boing. So good so far. Oh, oh gosh, uh, that's too big. How do I get back? Okay. Oh, Whew. all right. All right. Still learning the shortcuts in this uh, here thing. Okay. And then we want it to uh, stop, 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 stop. L K to stop. Okay. Nuts. Yo, it's the Zarkon. We'll set our keyframe here so it stays here. And now, mm, here's the here's the the power of power. Oh, look, we can we can do both of them at the same time. Awesome. Center the gun. Uh wait, no. Undo all that shit. We want this to be on frame 26. So wait, redo that shit. <laughs> we want this to be on frame 26. So set the keyframe here. Look at the progress. I know, I know. Powerful, powerful. All right, let's watch. Uh huh. See, I didn't set a keyframe. Fucking amateur hour over here. All right, on frame one. Uh, let's just let's just do a new transform node, right here. Okay. Frame one. Set that keyframe. So now if we play it from frame one, gun flies in. Excellent. We want it to stay for five frames. And then on frame 26, transform three. Oh, okay. We need the scale to we need this the scale to be a keyframe two. Now on frame 26. Zoom the fuck in. Focus on the gun. Okay. Frame 26, we're focused on the gun. How long is the next segment? The next segment goes from four seconds in one frame to four seconds in 14 frames. So this is a 13 frame segment. Uh, 
meaning it goes from 26 to 39. And at 39, we want all of the we want all the same scaling. Right? But we want a slight rotate here on the gun frame. So on 26, transform two. We want the rotation to be set. And then let's say frame 30, uh, we rotate this bad boy down. Frame 32, uh, we rotate this bad boy back up. So what's, what's it over here? Oh, shit. Uh huh. Okay, that's actually cool. I like, I don't hate that. But our rotation of 25.4 back up to 58.5. So that means at frame 20, we need to set a keyframe of 58.5. 58.5. Okay, so how's this look? Hmm, I see, I see. Okay, so back to frame one. On frame... So on, on, on the transform... We need to not zoom in yet, right? So this is transform three. We're at zero, zero, scale one. So at 25, we still need to be at zero, zero, scale one. All right, let's try that. Flies in. Book. Flies in. Chick chick. Not quite exactly what I was hoping. Uh, K is for stop. We need transform two. This is 25.4 rotation. 58.5. So this, we want it to be zero rotation. This, we want it to be 58.5. Uh, and this, we also want to be 58.5. Hang on. <laughs> oh, playing with blue. So cute. Brings a tear to me out of here, my boy, talking about animation frames. Yeah. So it flies in and turns while it does. Yes. Okay, this is what I want. Look. Flies in. Flies in. And I have now learned that we can do that instantaneous cut by just making a one frame transition. Ooh, boy. Isaac is learning the rope, as they say. OK. Uh, our next thing goes uh, from Four seconds, 14 frames to five seconds, four frames. So that's another 14 frames. So if we were at 39, our next one would be 53. But if we're at 39 at frame 40, we want to bring our transformation three um, 
back to a normal size, right? And we also kind of want transformation two to be a little further up. Yes. Transformation three down a little bigger and down. Okay. No girls. Then at 53, we go to transformation three. Uh, scale it up even more. Uh, how do I? Yeah. 10%. This is what I'm talking about. Here we go. 10%. Scale it up even more. All right, what's our next what's our next cut? Next cut, next cut. That's from five seconds and four frames to six seconds and eight frames. So full uh, 28 frames. Uh huh. Uh huh. What's 53 plus 28? is uh 81 yes so that means in frame 80 we just set these keys right uh let's let's watch loop yeah, that's awful. It moves, it moves, it doesn't cut, it moves too quickly. Okay, so what are we missing? Uh, first off, the gun moves up after it cocks. So that means in Transform 2, our Translate needs to instead of being at 529 our translate needs to still be at 312 so at frame 39 we need a 312 here 312 for some reason i love it i mean it doesn't even have the sound yet but it just seems so good doom oh did we not do it at the right frame yeah, we need this to be 312. Or wait, no. 195. Okay. So 195. Good. All right. Flies in. Cock, cock. Zoom. Oh, I see. Okay, well, actually, that's fine. Yeah. At frame 80, we set the we set the, the nodes for transform three. And then at frame 81, we can use the uh We can use the transform nodes again. Like here. And what if we just wiggle it? What if we just wiggle the skew on transform three? What if we just wiggle the skew on transform three? I kind of love that. So how do we do that? Um, well, first off, we make sure that we make sure at frame eight, 80, the skew is zero, 
right? We have to set the key first. And then let's say like every three frames, we just adjust the skew like back. And then every two frames, we adjust it forward a little. Yeah. You just gotta like make sure all of your frames are so clean. So clean, so fresh, so clean, clean. And then back to zero. All right, uh, let's watch. Gun flies in, chick chick. Okay, is this gonna work? Hell if I know. Uh, let's click on the merge, the final merge, and go to a right thing. Let's go to the desktop. I jump in the CAC file. Let's say this calls gunvideo.mp4. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, render that shit. Render that shit. Will this work? I mean, this is the kind of shit that I have always wanted to do, right? So let's hope it works. Okay. And let's also save this project just because if I want to change things, I got to change things. Done video dot Neutron project. Okay. Now, back to shotgun. We have a rendered gun video dot mp4 let's place it in oh it didn't give me a transparent background can we do something about that let's select it filter uh, we've got a alpha channel, right? What's that called? Chroma key. Oh, that's not good. I mean, that is so good. Uh, but we need to chroma key it. So. Get out of here. Uh, go back to gun video project. All right. Um, yeah, good, good. OK. Uh, go to this read node and change it from a transparent background to. Uh, do we have a green screen somewhere? Oh, God. None of my files are labeled particularly well. Um, no, no, no. Where's my green screen? OK, I'm just going to relabel you. I'm just going to. Green screen. That work? Nope. Wait. <gasps> yes, green screen. Oh, no, it's not the right size. Um, we can we can adjust this, right? Resize. And the resize shall be in. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's go back to our right node and render this shit once again. Is this the way? I think so. 
Been up late, got work early. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks so much for stopping by, Crandall. Thanks for voting in the poll. Remember, everyone, to vote in the poll to help me decide what Halloween costume I should be wearing. Have the results changed? Oh, actually, yes. <laughs> uh, status finished. Let's go. OK, uh, save the changes to the project. Take the gun video, put it in this project. I said take the gun video and put it in this project. Oh, it's probably thinking of a different gun video. Take the gun video and put it in this project. Oh, look at that. It looked, it fits so perfectly. All right. And then add a filter to it. The uh, chroma key. Oh. Uh, let's do the chroma key advanced. I know enough about chroma keys at this point. I can do the advanced one. N Wait, no, I can't. Fucking hell. What is all this? Okay. Uh, just chroma key then. Chroma key. Thing of beauty. All right. Let's listen. Okay. Um, now, do I have a GIF of just a flashing light? I think I do. Okay, bar. Uh, back to the internet. Let's see. Flashing light GIF. Faster. Is this what I want? Uh, open image and new tab. Kind of. I mean, it's a very OK. Yeah, uh, let's just save this um, since it's a very unique and uh, interesting GIF. By the way, Isaac, seems like you're animating this video pretty well. Well, <laughs> we are. A grand total of seven seconds in, and it has been an hour and a half. So, what can what can I say except uh, please forgive me? All right, uh, we take the gift we just downloaded. Such is the life of animation. I know, I know, right? All right, let's uh, cut this down to just the part we want. Okay, under properties, we can speed that up to like four times the speed. Apply. And then just like. Uh, copy paste it. Pretty much right. Pretty much. What is this music? Hmm. Okay. I'm sorry, but I don't like lyrics. So next song, please. Takes me longer just to make a still drawing. So by that metric, you're doing pretty good. I guess that is a, a fair comparison. This this is like maybe a, like a 
probably like a two, two or three day project. We'll probably be doing this. Mm, I have other plans for next week, actually, for this time slot. But uh, we will absolutely uh, have to keep working on this. All right. So we want to add some filters to this bad boy. Uh, we do want to add the... Can I just put the chroma key in my favorites? Thank you. We do want to add the chroma key with a, a black background. And we do want to add the size position and rotate. And we want to move this bad boy off to the side. So it looks like it's coming from off screen. And now let's copy, paste, paste, paste. And how's that look? <laughs> oh my god, it looks great. <laughs> how? How how have I not messed with compositing ever in my life until this 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 moment? Uh let's turn off the background channel and see what is happening here. This might be another Neutron moment. Like, wake up with no thrill. All right. All right. Uh, probably yes. So. Wake up with no frills. Is this how is this how they do video compositing? Like, here's a scene. Let's composite it. Here's a scene. Let's composite it. God, that would take so long. Playing with After Effects is so fun. You can put motion bar on anything. You can disintegrate someone like Hafanis does it and lightsabers. Yeah, there's a ton of different effects in Neutron as well. I'm kind of just uh playing around messing around right now so let's let's do this as i said let's do this as much in shotcut as possible so yeah so let's 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 have um Let's have you like slightly over here, right? And let's say that at the at the here at the here point, uh, let's set our keyframes for size and rotation, right? Size, position, and rotation. Okay, and then. At the beginning, uh, we'll set our keyframes. So it looks like I'm getting, it looks like I'm getting up out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? We're keeping it. Um, uh, We're, 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 it's canon. It's a canon event. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Uh, so now we have this, which goes from nine seconds and nine frames to 10 seconds and four frames, which means it's nine frames long. This is a nine frame. A nine frame explosion of 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 myself. Uh so let's open up Nature. <laughs> Project length. Uh nine frames. Uh and this one will be called Julio Julio Julio. Um uh, I've also learned that you can just 
uh, drag and drop things into Natron and it'll create a read node. So we are doing that 100% of the time, forever and ever, uh, until death do us part. Amen. Uh, don't forget, Isaac, to load in your uh, green screen. Although this green screen is flipping massive. Um, let's... Yeah, it's, it's it's monstrous. What's our what's our project size? It should be 1920 by 1080. So I'm just gonna go into um, bra. I'm just gonna go into open with uh, photos. I'm just gonna open the screen screen in photos and. Um, was it resize image? Yeah, this thing is 3840. It's twice as big as it needs to be. Uh, so yes, 1920 by 1080. And we're going to save this as the new green screen. Do you ever need more than 1920 by 80? Nah, we do not. We, we are not a 4K household here. Okay. So I believe we just create a merge node. My picture goes in front. This picture goes in the background. Good. We have nine frames to F with this as much as possible. Um, so let's add the transform node. Uh, and start ourselves about in the same position. Okay. Um, translate, set key, scale, set key, skew, set key. Yeah, set all these keys. Skew order. Okay. Uh, amount, transform amount. Got it. Got it. What's motion blur? All the motion blur. Okay. Uh, frame one, we're here. Frame two, uh, let's just let's just mess with these. Let's just mess with them. Uh, frame three, uh, continue to mess with uh, the stuff. Frame four, uh, messing with the stuff some more. Frame five, absolutely destroying my uh, self image. Good, good. Uh, Frame six, um, set everything to zero. Except scale, which is at 0.5. And then make sure we, we translate it to like the, the dead center. Uh, frame seven, just, uh, just the feet, just the feet. Mm. Them hooves. Those hooves could sink about 50 ships. Or so, so if Helen of Troy caused a thousand ships to sail because of her beauty, then that means if you can get one ship to sail because of your beauty, you are at one millihelen, right? So I'm going to say that these feet are at like five millihelens. No, maybe like five centihelens, right? Um, 
I've lost my I lost I've lost my shit. Here it is. Get back here. Yeah. Zero. Zero. There we go. A rotation. Skew this boy. And then frame nine. Uh, I mean, where do you even go from here? Just so powerful. I think that's good for frame nine. For frame nine. Yes. OK, uh, create a right nodule. And this is called Julio dot MP4. Jump in the CAC. Very good. OK. And uh, let's play it. Oh, it is thinking hard. Oh, there's motion blur. Wave, that's sick as hell. Uh, can we stop? Can we go to transform node number one, please? Um, we added motion blur. Let's do a little bit less motion blur. <laughs> oh, that looks so flipping funny. OK. Uh, yeah, and, and to, to write, write node, uh, render me, please. This might take longer than the, the hundred frame video. <laughs> Time remaining 10 seconds. Doubt it. <laughs> okay. It's not that bad. All right. All right. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then let's save this project as Julio.mtp. Go back to here. Um, Julio, the Julio, the Julio, the Julio. Now, what did I do wrong here? Did I miscalculate the number of frames? 10, 4. And 9, 9. I did miscalculate the number of frames. Also, uh, what the heck is happening? Why is it? Oh, I see. It's on the wrong channel. OK, we miscalculated the number of frames and also maybe our. Uh, maybe our aspect ratios were incorrect. Yes, load Julio. So this is uh, actually how many frames? Nine. It's 15 plus four. So it's not nine frames, it's 19 frames. Mm, of course. Uh, so what I think I want to try is how do you how do you like um, how do you move this info around? Like if I have this, if I have this information on nine, if I set it to 19, I can set all the keyframes, right? And if I, and then if I go to nine, I can remove this keyframe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's sweepy time for me. Thanks for streaming. Well, thank you for being here. Uh, make sure you voted in the poll. So now if we go to eight. But at this point, it's it's trying to get to 19. So what if I go to 
Copy animation all dimensions. Mm. And then I go to here and I um, paste animation all dimensions. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Edit. Uh huh. What's this? Mm -hmm. All right, let's look it up. Natron copy paste animations. You can vote by mail. Uh, I suppose you could. I mean, you can also vote as many times as you'd like, I think. Okay. Copy values, all dimensions. We go to 16. Can we paste values? I mean, I guess we could just copy them one time at a time, but... Next increment, next keyframe. Oh, you can just jump from keyframe to keyframe. That's nice. Mm hmm. Yeah, I want to take the animation. I want to take the transformation coordinates from frame eight and copy them to frame 16. There must be a way to do that. Copy. Value. Go here. Uh, And if I hit control V, I just get that. Uh, so Natron keyframe copy paste. Uh huh. Oh, what if we like duplicate keyframe? Keyframe duplicate. Is it going to be another one of this guy's videos? No, actually. Okay. Uh, Let's open up Firefox and watch another video. Why is there that? I don't want that. Okay, so we've got a transformation node. And we set some keyframes. All right. Increments.
I'm just gonna full screen this because god damn. Okay. Why is this in like 360p? Okay, thank you. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. All right. So apparently, if I go into the curve editor, I can take this and move it to the frame that I want to move it to. Okay. All right. Wait, this is this is much easier. Okay. So let's say we want this to happen every three, every two, two to three frames instead of every one frame. Young Zenigata, you're welcome. Did you just uh, uh, hit some serious uh, dirt in that bowl there. Hmm. Why is this not lining up? One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll assume that's what you're talking about. But then we just we just adjust all this stuff. So it all lines up. Right? Right? That's all we gotta do, right? That's all we gotta do. I wish I wish the balls were the same color as the balls. It's throwing me off. Come on, balls. Get yourself in line. I mean, this is going to be a mess, but at least it used to be an organized mess, right? Okay, let's let's uh, watch this. It's 19 frames now. And we learned about the curve editor. Look at that. Look at that amazing curve. Some beautiful curves happening. Okay. Very good. Uh, stop the stop the stop the presses. Stop the presses. Thank you. Save this and uh, let's go back to our node graph and export. Also, let's just make sure that we're uh, our viewer is looking good. Our project is looking good. Yeah, see the project format is wrong. That's the problem. Very good. Did my did my poll just get slam dunked? No. 
Young Zenny, I don't know what you're welcoming me for. <laughs> Let's render this ship. It might take a second. Okay. And then thank you. Uh, for your service, Mr. Uh, Curve Editor Teacher. But I think we're good. I think we are so good. And now we have a 19 prob uh, 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 a proper 19 frame Julio. Julio, Julio, Okay, we're finished. Excellent. Uh, save those changes, please. All right. Julio, 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 Julio. Look how perfect it just slots in there. And then what's what's our what's our filter on here? Chroma key forty three point five percent. Okay. Uh, chroma key. Forty three point five. Uh. Can we just um, save this? Save the preset as um, the Tron E. Perfect. All right, let's let's watch. Wow. Okay, the motion blur does a number on the chroma key, doesn't it? Nice. Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, how am I going to do this? So the next part has mm -hmm. the next part has that. So what if we can I do that? I think I can. So what if I did this? I just go. And then I make a clip of myself. Does that work? Okay, sick. That seems to have worked. So now I can go to my uh, video producer or my clips section. I just uh, delete the clip that I just created. Yes, I'm um, sorry. Time to say goodbye. Don't share that clip. It's going to be gone. OK. Now, my computer also saves the clips. So let's go into my computer. Uh-huh. And that's that's pretty much it, right?
let's uh let's zoom in on the action here Uh, and then let's speed this up by like half a half a speed. There should be no sound on this channel anyway, so let's just delete the sound. Perfect. I'm funny. Look how funny I am. <laughs> <laughs> so far, the sidekick from the DreamWorks movie is winning in the poll. Oh, also, is my pinned message still there? It doesn't look like it is. Wait, I can, I can, I can, um... I can check that. Go to my channel. Observe myself. No, it's still there. Oops. <laughs> Isaac is indeed funny, and he will be minion soon enough. <laughs> There's lots of Pixar sidekicks, though. Or DreamWorks sidekicks. Sorry, not Pixar. We don't want that. Uh, DreamWorks sidekicks <laughs> dreamworks sidekicks rated from good to evil and that's what we're talking about i mean kung fu panda kung fu panda is dreamworks like come on Does does Toothless count as a DreamWorks sidekick? No, Toothless is a main main character. That's a it's a dual main character. Right? The penguins are sidekicks, kind of. <laughs> oh, idea. I'll be Moses' brother. Perfect. Perfect Halloween costume. Astrid or fish legs. There are a lot of options. We have to, to consider carefully all the sidekicks. Yeah. Oh, yes, I could be the dog from uh, Puss in Boots, the last Witch, which I just watched last night for the second time because it's quite good. OK. Question. What are transitions like in Chaka? I've never done one. No. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. I've never done a transition. Transition. Oh, wow. It's got a whole thing. Um, cut. Let's try bar vertical. See how that looks. It's too, too, way too short to matter. Really? You'd be Humpty Dumpty. 
Is Humpty Dumpty a sidekick? I thought he was the villain of Puss in Boots 1. All right. Puss in Boots. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Alexander Dumpty. One of the three main antagonists of the first one. He wasn't a villain, at least until the end. Man, they do some wild stuff with these Puss in Boots movies. Like, why and how? Three antagonists? Okay, so the question now is, what do we do with this section? Baby jeans. baby jeans? Or is it baby beans? I must know. Um, uh, jump in the cat lyrics, please. Uh, the the original author says, I know it's not baby beans, it's baby jeans, but baby beans sounds funnier to me. So I guess we could do either. What if we did... Do I have a picture of a baby? Why would I have a picture of a baby? I don't have a picture of a baby. All right. Uh, baby PNG. Images. This is not a PNG. This is a WebP. You lied. Okay, this looks more promising. Beautiful. Look at that PNG. Beautiful PNG. Look at that. Look at that. Just it's a it's a lovely PNG. Okay, baby. Baby.png. And then we need beans. Beans PNG. Beans? Beans. I hope you're enjoying this um, riveting content. Okay. Cool. We've got a baby, we've got beans. Where'd the beans go? To the desktop. No, into the folder with you. All right, uh, let's add another video track. It's motivating. The, the baby is motivating. Oh, or the music. The music is kind of motivating, isn't it? Oh, that's a good, that's a good baby size. Yeah. Maybe a little smaller.
Let's see. The beans can come in a little earlier. Yeah. Making the memes. That's pretty accurate. Eh? I'm a little behind. I meant the stream in general. Oh, <laughs> I see. I see. Um, well, welcome back. Nothing has changed. The journey continues. Uh, however, what we probably want to do is we probably want No, 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 no. We want to add a filter to this. And we want to set the keyframe right here so that at the beginning of this, we can have it over here. And then that Yeah, 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 yeah. Except we want the baby above the beans, I think. For this particular effect. So let's set the let's set the marker here. Move this slightly. Oh. Set the marker here. Move this slightly. Add a filter to this. Simple, simple, simple. Simple stuff. We don't need Natron for everything. It's a very important, very important uh, thing. Let's set up our beans. Let's just set those beans. Right there. Set a keyframe. Go to the beginning. Make the beans very small. And behind the baby. And now we get a silly joke. What can I say? I'm a master of comedy. I'm a master of comedy. Uh, OK. And then we just keep going, right? What's next? There's a. Where's that bump happen? It's like right there. OK. So what if we just did? Yeah, what if we just did? What if we just did this? I don't want that. What the heck? Bigger? Downer? More down? Even more down? Wait, no, that's wrong. Wrong dimension. More down. Uh, less down. And and let's uh, let's put a little filter on this. Boy, a little color, uh, color grading. No, why do I have color grading in my favorites? I want color correction. Or what is it? Uh, hue, lightness, saturation. Is 
Do they not have one? I guess we just do contrast. Level of contrast. Very high. Uh, color grading. I have no idea what that is. Brightness. Very high. No, we don't want mosaic. We want like a fish eye. I don't understand any of these. Except that's exactly what I want. <laughs> hmm. I can feel the base boost in that image. Thank you. That's all I want. <laughs> Applying all the filters takes it a second. <laughs> Let's add some motion to this this frame, though. So why don't we just uh, zoom in a little bit, set a keyframe at the beginning, or the very end, and then just um, set another keyframe like up here. Awesome. 15 seconds. We're three tenths of the way done. <laughs> but this next section, this just, just, just jump in the cat. Let's let's watch. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to um, utilize Neutron for this type of transformation. Or maybe even GIMP. Yeah, no, Natron should work. Natron should work. Okay, so what's our what's our what's our length here? And and let's set some keyframes before we get into Natron. So this is the frame when he, his head starts going down. Bottom. Top. 
bottom. And then it gets back up. Okay. So we have six keyframes to make in the Tron. And our project length goes from 15 seconds, four frames to 18 seconds, one frame. So that means doing my math correctly this time, it's three seconds minus three frames. So two seconds and 21 frames. Two seconds is 48 frames plus 21 frames is, oh, it's 69 frames. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Open the Tron. Last frame. 69. Mm, the sex number. Uh, <laughs> uh, where's my backgrounds of panels? Give me that grin screen. Read it in. Nice. Uh, but also lazy lavender. Uh, I noticed that you've been following only for a few days. Uh, welcome. Are you also a streamer? I noticed you have a cool little VTuber style profile pic. I mean, not everybody who does this stuff is like a streamer, right? Uh, oh, actually, wait, this is the perfect moment. Yes. Oh, my God. That's just an avatar you made in Ponytown. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Not every pony is a streamer. We must remember this is the perfect time for Isaac Swanzu. Uh, drawn by our good friend, the Zarkon. So. Let's start with a transform node. I move Isaac Swanzu to the appropriate scale and location. And now let's try uh let's try some other let's try some other transformations right so we have corner pin what does this do uh-huh interesting okay don't know if i don't know if i like that one um, select this. I distort. Oh, you can put in a UV map to distort an image. Yo, that's pretty sick. You just do art as a hobby. Well, that's awesome. Uh, what kind of art? Just uh, drawing stuff mostly. Oh, there's a transform and there's a masked transform. Okay, let's add another, let's add another transform just so that we can mess with one transform and not the other one. Right. Or actually, you know what we should do? Uh, go into GIMP and make two copies of Isaac Swanzu, just the head and just the body. Mostly draw fan characters from anime and cartoons I like. Mostly JoJo stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, there are a lot of... Um, there are a lot of really cool fan characters in JoJo because you get all the different stands, powers that people come up with, and cool names for the stands. And my god, the art is just gorgeous. So much art. So gorgeous. 
gorgeous. Yeah, we're fans of JoJo in this house. We we dig the bizarre adventures. How's that pole coming along? Pretty good so far. But speaking of pony stuff, I have drawn my friend into a pony. I'm not great at it because I'm still learning the basics. Well, that's okay. Me too. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. I'm learning the basic of God, whatever this is. Uh, GIMP 2.10. It's going to pop up with the Hey, upgrade your GIMP thing again, isn't it? No, it didn't. Oh, but what if I want to upgrade my GIMP? How will I ever? I'll ever do such a thing. Okay, we've got Isaac Swan Zoo. Um, and we're just going to export two images here. Uh, first one is going to be uh, this. Um, just the head. Uh, for the desktop. Swan head, export, and we're going to undo that, invert the selection, and erase just the head, and then export that as swanbody.png. A oh, beautiful, a oh, beautiful, okay, then we're just going to close this uh, discard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just keep GIMP open because seems good. Seems good. Okay. So if I understand this correctly, this transform node is operating on the image as a whole, um, which means if I was to uh, break this, put this here, Yes, yes, okay. So we don't need this anymore. We need another merge. Uh, so I guess this will be the foreground. This will be the background. Uh, we'll transform them both and the transform holds the information that I've already put in it. But now we can put another transform mode in here and we can um maybe that's not what we want to do though maybe we do want to use the corner pin for this yeah because the transform mode just moves from you know that sort of thing what we want is uh this style or maybe what we need to do maybe what we need to do is use the crop node can we zoom in of course we can Where's my, here we go. Let's just get that like right close in. Good, okay. And then after we've cropped, we do the corner pin. And now the corners are much more uh, attached. Wait, that's still the crop. Right? 
we want the corner pin. Ah, okay. So really what we want is we want the neck to be the background so that it sinks in properly. Got it. Okay. All right. Let's reset everything. Uh, the body is this. This needs the corner pin. And then that can be the foreground. Okay. Or the background, really. Okay. We're ready. We're ready for keyframing. So we start... All right, so start here. And because it's animated, we need to set all the keyframes that we want. Set all the keyframes. And we're on we're on frame 64. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. We want to be on frame one. Frame one. Yep, we're on frame one. And here we set all the keyframes. Now, the first keyframe is... We're going from 15 seconds and four frames to 17 seconds and two frames. That's frame 46. Frame 46 is our first frame, our first new keyframe. And so let's. Let's do this. Sure. Kind of looks like he's coming at you, doesn't it? He's coming to get you. All right. That's our that's our first first movement. So let's watch it. Nope. Uh, okay. L. L. Jump. Oh, it is thinking hard. Oof. Zoom to fit. Okay. Jump. Yes. Good. Okay. So let's watch this again. Okay. 
So then we have four frames of down. Four frames of down, which means our next frame keyframe is 50. Good. And then how many frames of up do we have? 1706 to 1710, four frames of up. Perfect. Good. Then we have another down. 1710 to 1717, 17, seven frames of down, giving us 61 here. Let's make it even a little bit more hunched over. And then the rest of the frames just up. So at frame 69, let's make it the biggest up there is. And yeah, should be good. Okay. Um, uh, prepare to be amazed at how much this requires me to render. Ooh, it's thinking so hard. Beautiful. 100% a beautiful. Okay. Take our final merge, add a right to it. Um, into the jump in the CAC, we've got goosevid.mp4. Is that all we need to do? How good am I? I'm getting good at this, I think. We didn't have any motion blur on this one, which I think is fine because the motion blur kind of messes with the green screen. I wonder, can we set an alpha channel on here? That's the real question. Asking the real questions now. Uh, and let's do save this as goosevid.ntp. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Goodbye, goosevid. Hello, shotcut. Where's my goosevid at? Look at that. Just perfectly slots right in because it's the exact number of frames that I wanted it to be. Uh, then let's add our do 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 that our do do let's add our doobly do on here incredible Incredible. And now for this one, this one should actually be so easy. We can do it in shot cut. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a visual asset background. No. PNG. Where's my transparencies? Let's go. 1080 transparency. And we do this. Because then we can put the uh, text on here. Let's 
we just want to write the CAC. Then we can manipulate the text. Easy. Make this guy a little smaller. We start here. Uh, set a keyframe. Uh, keyframe is set. Go like here. Set this keyframe. Go here. Set a little higher keyframe. And that's the, the easiest part. Now here's where we can Okay. So really the normal meme is done. All right. Um, let's do an advanced export. Um, is this how you do it? Yeah. Use hardware encoder, MP4. Why are we at 25 frames per second? Who does that? Um, how do we just export a selection? Uh, I don't know. Let's ask the internet. Uh, shot cut export selection. How do I export a selection from the timeline? Thank you, shot cut forums. Okay, it's really complicated, uh, but the answer, the answer that they are uh, kind of pushing, I guess, is just uh, delete everything that you don't want to export and then export a file. Missing some files. I'm sorry, what? Cancel. Bring back my shit, please. Okay. Uh, all 
Alright. For some reason, it deleted my flipping uh, filter things. Okay. Well, that's easy. We can redo that. Yep. Set to keyframe. Nope. Go to like here. Set to keyframe. Go to here. Set keyframe. Okay. Okay. Let's save. Close the project. Uh, is this the right project? Hold up. Hold the phone. Ah, okay. One one moment. There is actually stuff missing. We need to put that in there. Yeah, okay. Give me a second. This is an important message for the for the populace. Listen, save your shit. Save your shit properly. Don't want invalid all over your stuff. Uh, okay. This first one is. Is it the other one? Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, cancel, cancel. Gosh. We want the MP4. Okay. I understand now. And now everything should work. Uh, save, save you fool. Oh, B E A a beautiful. Get rid of that one. We can get rid of that one. Yes. Remember to create a folder for your project and then put all your shit in that folder. So now what we do, clip that. Export file. Uh,
jump in the CAC short version. And we export it. It's going to take a second. So while we're doing that, that was a great run. Why, thank you. Uh, speed run, jump in the CAC meme. Uh, time. <laughs> like two-ish hours. Right. Okay, looks like I'm going as a sidekick to a DreamWorks movie for Halloween. Fair enough. Uh, while we're uh, while we're waiting, uh, let's find someone to raid. Let's find someone to raid. Who is doing stuff? I'm pretty sure we've raided uh, your Girl Scout for her cyber hey streamathon at least twice uh so let's find someone else ooh oh let's go uh oh and only two only two uh two hours in that is it take care and bye everyone Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ray. And and everyone else, take care, too. Uh, today, we're going to raid Purple Bird, who has got a great name. We're going to raid Purple Bird. A purple bird, 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 purple, bird, purple, 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 And throw that raid message up in shit. Night. Have a good night, day. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have a good day. It is, uh, I'm in Europe, so it's like 11 a.m. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me go shoot me and then we do what do and then we do outro. All right. So, uh, Purple Burp. Uh, thank you everyone for joining. Thank you so much for sticking around if you did. Uh, if you're still in chat, grab that raid message and let's go say hi to Purple. Um, because they have, I've seen them playing some super cool games and I do want to check them out. Um, but uh, y'all are great. Thanks for keeping me company while I uh, jumped in the CAC. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll probably try to finish this sometime. Who knows when? Uh, but Next week, we're going to do some Halloween streams. So, woo, Halloween. Uh, it'll be the uh, Halloween half month um, horror uh, hot, hot couture. Sure. That's going to be the title. Anyway, thank you so much for joining. My name is Ezdekanzu, and I will catch you next time. Very well. Thank you.